Hi, happy Thursday. I hope your week was good so far and you are really looking towards this weekend to enjoy it, to have a great time with your family and friends. And I just can't believe it's already the end of August and it's slowly time to start changing and getting ready for fall. So as you know, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I just love all the pinks and reds, but I feel like maybe it's time to switch for the fall color. So I'm gonna try something today. So I wanna try those like those darker colors, those like brown colors with this um, very shiny color, um, metallic color on top of it. So I'm gonna start with this light brown color, which is called Introverted. And then I'm gonna go with the um, Affable and Trustworthy. Hopefully I can read the, the names correctly without my glasses, but I cannot wear glasses when I'm doing eye makeup. So let's, let's try it. So it's the, as I said, this is the Introverted. So I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelids. This is gonna be my base, my transition color, my base. And I'm gonna go on the other eye. So this is because I have hooded eyes, I'm going way above my crease line because otherwise you won't see those eyeshadows when I open my eyes. So my, my goal is always to go above the crease line so I can really see my eyeshadows when I open my eyes. So I have my base color. So this was this, it looks much darker in the palette. It's not as dark on my eyes. So that's why I like press uh, eyeshadows because it's very easy to get that nice, very nice soft color. I just have to be careful not put too much color at once, uh, too much eyeshadow at once. But if you just use just a little bit, you can always add if you want darker colors. So now I'm gonna go with this dark brown color in my other corner. So now it's very careful just to take a little bit. And again, I'm applying it with my eye open just so I can make sure I see it later on when my eye will be open. It's tricky, I know it's not, it just takes time to practice and get used to this application method, but it's working for me. So it may not work for you if you don't have good eyes as I do, but something to really look into if you have good eyes like me. And so I'm doing kind of the V shape, but I'm really starting way above my crease line. Because like I said, I want to make sure that I'm gonna see it when I open my eye. Because if I just simply do it in the crease line, you're not gonna see it. I open my eyes and you can barely see the color. I feel like it's, it's even, and be, I have crease, hooded eyes, but I also, if you look at my eyes, like this eye, it's way more hooded droopy than this one. So it's always like very tricky part, how to make them kind of look similar when I open them later on, because as you see, it's way more hooded drip, droopy. And now I'm gonna go with this lighter color that is more metallic like color and just add that shine to my eyelid. Those colors are gonna be more like fall-like colors, much darker than my summer colors, but still pretty beautiful, especially when you add that metallic color to it to give you that reflection of the light when the light will go on your eyes. Yeah, and I barely see that dark color when I open my eye right now. I have to add a little bit of the lighter color over here too. Okay, I feel like it's good. Again, it's tricky, I know, because 
if I close my eyes, they are the same, but when I open them, this, this eyelid, it's really going down and it's like really covering my eye, so you can barely see anything on my eye. Well, the age and everything is going down, everything is really dropping, so nothing, not much I can do about it. Uh, but now let me do my mascara and I'm just gonna look down just to make sure that I don't transfer my mascara to my eyelid because if you will be like applying with your eye open there is like huge chance that you're gonna end up with mascara on your eyelid if you look down it's less likely that you're gonna have mascara on your eyelid so this is my Quadra 4-in-1 mascara that has the Lash Serum, Lash Primer, Tubing and Mascara all in one. So it's not only gives you that extra volume and length and curls your lashes, but it also really helps your lashes to stay healthier, stay stronger and grow longer for you. I am so proud of myself that I didn't transfer the mascara to my eyelid yet. I still haven't finished with my mascara, but so far it's good. Really holding that mirror down and looking down, it's working, at least for me. Maybe you don't have that problem, I do. Probably because of my hooded eyes, probably because I don't see very well and if I look straight for in front of me, I will be really opening my eye very wide now i'm having magnifying mirror looking down and i'm good i didn't transfer any mascara on my eyelids so this is my quick fall eye look i will be trying different colors so you can see even though the colors look pretty dark in the eyeshadow palette they are not very dark on the eyes and I like it. It's time to start getting ready for those fall colors, start getting ready for those holiday season. So more brownish, dark reddish, greenish colors, less pink and gold and all those spring and summery colors um, on your eyes just to kind of match everything that it's outside. And I just can't believe we still have like almost 100 degrees. Like today we had 99. Um, right now we are thankfully going down. We are at 97 right now only. Uh, but after this last weekend when we went down to like 80 degrees only. And now we are back in the high 90s. Almost 100. It's so hard to get um, used to those temperature swings. Uh, those big challenges. And uh, even in the evenings, we cannot even open the windows because like yesterday at 10 p.m. it was still 80 degrees outside. So you don't want to open the windows because it's warmer outside than it's inside your home. Uh, so I am really looking forward for those fall season, for the temperatures to go down so I can open the windows and have nice fresh air inside my home. Um, that's all for today. Let me know what are your favorite eyeshadow colors. Uh, do you prefer pressed eyeshadows? Do you prefer liquid eyeshadows? Do you prefer cream eyeshadows? Uh, so we can try different eyeshadows, different colors, different ways of applying it. So let me know your favorite eyeshadows and we can try them. And you know, it's a month from now, it's gonna be October. So we're gonna start working on the Halloween eye looks. So that's going to be something coming this uh, October, as every year I will be doing some Halloween eye looks. So if there is Halloween eye look, Halloween makeup, not only eye look, but Halloween makeup that um, you would like to try, but you don't know what products to use, send me a picture and I will do some research for you and I will try to recreate it for you. So then when the Halloween will be here, you will know what products you need and how to apply it. 
so you will be ready. I know it's hard to believe it's just two months until Halloween. So uh, October, we're gonna start Halloween uh, makeups, uh, makeup looks, but for now, let me know what your favorite eyeshadows and I will bring more fall-like eyeshadow looks, um, eye looks for you for the in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much. Have wonderful end of your day and talk to you soon. Bye.